Hello everyone, as things are starting to heat up pretty early this year, I've decided it's time to make a DIY cooling system using some PC fans. While this system is primarily for my reef tank, you can use this exact same concept for any aquarium or paludarium. However, if you're going to do this for a paludarium, it's probably better off to set it up as a pull configuration, so sucking air out rather than pushing, blowing air in. So this does depend a little bit on your circumstances, so definitely experiment with it. So to begin, you'll need PC fans. I'm using 120mm fans for this, but you can use bigger or smaller ones if you have those available. I'm using some cheap silver monkey ones. So these are 120 by 120 by 25 with a rotational speed of 1800 RPM, max airflow of 61.7 CFM, and anti-vibration dampeners. They're also 4-pin PWM fans. If you're looking for really quiet fans, I highly suggest some Be Quiet fans. I have 10 on my current PC and they're really, really quiet. So if you want something that's not going to make a lot of noise, Be Quiet's definitely your option. So as well as some fans, you're also going to need a power adapter. For this, I'm using a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter 12 volt 3 amp adapter from AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the description for the exact one that I have. As well as that, you'll also need a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter DC adapter to match your PWM fans. Again, I'll leave a link for that in the description to the exact one that I'm using for this. So while I'm only going to be using three fans for this build, I did get a four-way converter just in case I wanted to add an extra one at some other stage. For the final piece, I'm using this 3D printed fan mount for 120mm fans. I'll leave the print files linked below so you can choose the exact same file. Just make sure you pick the download for the glass thickness that you have. So it does come in quite a few, few different sizes. So for this, I'm using 5mm. So that's everything you'll need. Now it's simply just a case of screwing the fans to the mounts and connecting all the wires. Just remember that when you screw the fan to the mounts to make sure you have the fan direction facing the right way. So for this to work best for an aquarium, you're going to make sure that the fan air is blowing on the water surface and not pulling the air away. Otherwise you won't have as good results. For most fan brands, it's usually the ugly side showing, but some are a little bit different. So definitely check before you start screwing things down. Otherwise you'll have to change it. Okay, so that is all three fans mounted to their 3D brackets and they're ready to connect. So now all you need to do is connect the four pin PWM from the male to the female, just as shown on the screen here. All the fans that you have, so for me it's gonna be three and I'm gonna have one spare socket left if I decide to add another fan. Then the final part is to simply connect the power adapter to the other connection and that is the entire process complete. We're just gonna test it quickly to make sure everything's working. And as you can see, all three fans are running perfectly. The only downside is if you've picked really loud, really fast fans, they're going to be noisy and there's no way to adjust the speed. The speed is always going to be maximum. So make sure you pick your fans wisely. Now that everything is connected, it's time to mount it to the back or side of the aquarium, then to plug it in. This is a simple enough process. Just slide it over the glass, connect everything up and plug it straight into the power supply. Obviously, make sure you don't dip anything in the water, otherwise you're gonna have a lot of problems. Finally, the most important thing I can suggest here is to run it on a timer as well and run it during the hottest part of the day. So for me, I'm going to be running it probably from about 10 a.m. till 8 p.m., give or take how hot things are at the time. The other thing to be very aware of, especially with reef tanks, is evaporation. The increased airflow will cause a lot more evaporation, and if you don't have an ATO to account for this, you're going to need to make sure you're topping your tank up very regularly to keep salinity levels within the safe ranges. While I don't currently have it on this tank for this video, I'll be converting it over from my glass lid to a mesh lid for the summer process. That's another project for another video. If you have any questions on this entire process, just drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. But otherwise, it's really simple, really cheap, and it looks really good if you can get your hands on a 3D printed mount. As always, thanks for watching everyone, and take it easy.